Last second instructions from the official, the head referee coming into the middle. Blows the whistle and we're ready to go. The tip controlled by New Mexico Highlands. Actually, that was Marlon Johnson who took the tip and sent it all the way back to the free throw line into the hands of Kalen Shane. New Mexico Highlands moves it around the perimeter, has it out on the left side. Dribbling now to the top of the key, Jonathan Mines. Skips it down into the corner, now they'll work it back to the left side. Coming out to set a pick is Kalen Shane. Dribbling around that is Mines. He goes into the paint, puts one up off the back iron, no good. There for the rebound and the stick back is Marlon Johnson. And New Mexico Highlands has the first two points of the ball game. They got off to a fast start in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Jumped out to a 10-point lead early against the Mavericks. Mavericks had a hard time scoring in their game last week against Westminster. Three-pointer on the way is no good from C.J. Davis. Rebound controlled by New Mexico Highlands, and here they come back the other direction. On the far side, Mines dribbles towards the left side, takes it to the baseline, back to the top, out on the wing. It's Marlon Johnson driving in, and he's fouled. That'll be before the shot. He was driving in at the time, and Kabir West gets him with the body, and New Mexico Highlands will get the ball underneath. Cowboys to inbound, left of the basket. Lob it in for Johnson from Chicago, Illinois. They get it underneath to Shane. Shane goes up and stuffs it home. 4-0. New Mexico Highlands up early. Kabir West has it. Now they bounce pass into the corner. Hoffer dribbles back out. Stefan, he'll fire a three from the top of the key. That one's off to the left. Rebound is controlled by Johnson. Johnson will push it ahead to James Healy. Healy with an entry pass. Skip it out to the corner on the near side. Shot goes up, barely catches iron from Marlon Johnson, and there's Stefan with the rebound. Driving in quickly, going back the other way, going up, and has that shot blocked and out of bounds. Last touch by the Mavericks. Brandon Hoffer took it in, and then coming from behind to swat the shot away was Kendrick Nichols, the 6'3 senior from Malcolm X High School in Chicago, Illinois. 4 0. New Mexico Highlands with the early lead. Just over a minute and a half gone early in this game. New Mexico Highlands finished the season strong. Dribbling in off the right wing. There's a lob low. And they're going to wave it off. And they're going to call a charge on Kendrick Nichols. They had the alley-oop. Nichols coming in gets called for the charge. Check that Jonathan Mines on the foul. And we go the other way. Wave that one off. So an exciting play that goes for naught. On the far side, Amor Lopez dribbles around a pick, accelerates, goes in, hammered hard. Oh, he was hammered hard by Marlon Johnson. And Johnson stands over. And the Mavs will get the basketball. And Lopez misses the first. Mavs yet to score. 18.03 to go in the first half. Second one is up and no good. And so the Mavs will maintain possession after the flagrant foul call. And Amor Lopez will inbound from left of the basket. Lobs it back towards midcourt to Hoffer. Hoffer gives it to Lopez. Lopez drives to his right, takes it to the top of the key. Moves the ball to the left. They'll dribble it around. The baseball pass around to Lopez on the right wing. They get it underneath to Stefan. Stefan with a head fake. Goes up with a shot. Has it partially blocked. Getting a piece of it was Johnson. Coming out with it is Kendrick Nichols. Nichols to the far side. Healy. He'll fire a long-range three. That one's no good. And the rebound comes down to C.J. Davis. Hoffer gets it ahead to Lopez. Lopez going in, loses the ball, puts it on the floor, picks it up, and gets a reverse layup. Quick thinking by Amor Lopez. He goes in, looked like he dropped the basketball, but he just put it back on the floor, knowing his shot was going to be blocked. Then he picks it up and gets the reverse layup. Both Mavs are on the board, down 4-2. Dribbling from the outside, Mines takes it, skips it back to the right side, bounce pass on the entry to Shane. Shane will move it back to the outside. Three on the way, and that one's good. Jonathan Mines goes up and gets that bucket to fall. And Mines with his first three points makes it 7-2, to two, New Mexico Highlands. Mavericks will work the ball. Looking underneath. Can't find anybody. Outside, Amor Lopez. He'll fire the three. That one's off the back iron. No good. Rebound falls to Jonathan Mines. And New Mexico Highland quickly moves it to the other end of the court. 
And another three, quickly fired up. That one's no good. Comes down to Lopez, and he'll walk it up. Accelerates now. There's Hoffer going into the paint. Crossover dribble. Following behind is Kabir West. Goes up with a layup, and he's fouled. Kabir West trailing the play. Had a good look at the basket. Draws the foul, and he'll go to the line. Kendrick Nichols will be called for the foul. And Kabir West is at the free throw line for the Mavericks. Hits the first to make it 7-3. to three. Mavs offense off to a slow start against a much improved New Mexico Highlands team this year. Second free throw is up and good. Cuts it back to a three-point ball game. 7-4, New Mexico Highlands leads. Kabir West with his first two points of the game. On the far side. Nichols has it, dribbles around a pick. He'll fire a three at the top of the key. That one kicks off to the left and tracking down the rebound to C.J. Davis. He'll bring it up the far side. Slows it down, brings it to the middle. Hoffer to the near side west. West called for the travel. Shuffled his feet before he took the move off the wing, and he's called for the walk, and that will bring Connor Nichols into the game. He had six points in the first meeting between these two teams. Connor Nichols on the season averages 7.9 off the bench for the Mavericks 16-10 to go in the first half 7-4 New Mexico Highlands with the lead Highlands will work it around the outside taking it around to pick and firing a three as Jonathan Mines that one rattles around won't fall and then hustling in to grab the rebound but stepping on the baseline is Kendrick Nichols out of Malcolm X High School in Chicago Illinois after the missed shot by Jonathan Mines. Up the far side comes Amor Lopez around a pick from Ryan Steffen. Try a little pick and roll. They lob it down low to Steffen. He banks off the glass and good. Steffen with his first two points and the Mavs are within one. 7-6. New Mexico Highlands in the lead. 15-37 remaining in the first half. They work it on the far side to Ron Lawton who just checked in out of that timeout. Dribbles to his left. Cuts back to his right. And wants three white jerseys and he gets bailed out with a foul. Going up with the shot, somebody came in and got him on the arm. He'd gotten himself into trouble. And the foul is going to be charged to Ryan Steffen. That'll be his first. Number 22, Ron Lawton at the line. And that'll send Lawton to the free throw line. Lawton hits his first free throw. Lawton, an 80% free throw shooter, was 88 of 110 this year. Second one is up and good, and it's 9-6. to six. New Mexico Highlands still leading by three. They'll go into a full court press this time and at least make the Mavs think about it as they get it up the court. Now they drop back, working it to the near side. Off the wing goes Kabir West, driving in left. That one's off the glass, no good, and the rebound is grabbed by Andre Hardy. Uh, from transfer from Iowa Central Community College. Now driving in is Healy, and Healy is foul going into the paint. That one's going to be charged to Kabir West. Number four, Kabir West his second first That'll be the second on Kabir. Coming off the bench now Number for the Mavericks four, is Nate Holly, the junior from Montrose. James Healy from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Puts the first one up and good. Four-point lead now for the Cowboys. The second free throw on the way for Healy. Drops. Then it's back to a five-point lead. New Mexico Highlands up in the early goings of this one here at Brownson Arena. Amor Lopez to the far side. C.J. Davis out of the top. He'll fire it down into the corner. Amor Lopez with a bounce pass entry to Stefan. Stefan kicks it back out on the wing. Now Holly has it right side. At the top of the key for the Mavericks is Nichols. Nichols steps inside the arc Connor and he nails it. Nichols. Connor Nichols with his first two points. Makes it an 11-8 New Mexico Highlands. Dribbling at the top is Mines. Mines dribbles to the left wing. Back up to the top to Nichols. Connor Nichols. Or Kendrick Nichols rather. Hands it off on the right wing and moves his way to the corner. There goes Ron Lawton. Lawton passes to the near side. That one gets away through the hands of Nichols and out of bounds. And here's Ranko Pujicic off the bench. Pujicic from Brisbane, Australia. 
at the end of the first quarter, CSU Pueblo leads the CMU women 17-11. In the front court for the Mavericks, Connor Nichols has it. They'll work it over to the far side, Hawley. Holly dribbles at the right hand, brings it towards the top. They'll lob low for Stefan. Stefan out of the left block. He'll bank that one off the glass and good. And the Mavs are back within one, 11 to 10. New Mexico Highlands up with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Dribbling to the left is Mines. Mines will back it out for New Mexico Highlands. Goes back around to pick to his right. He'll sling it out to the far side. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And going up to grab the rebound is Nichols. Nichols out to Amor Lopez. Lopez in the front court, leaves it for Stefan. He'll fire the three, and it's good! Ryan Stefan nails that one from 23 feet. And the Mavs have their first lead of the ball game, 13 to 11. Skip pass across the court to the near side to Matthew Logan. They'll work it out on the left wing. Ron Lawton. Lawton falling out of bounds. Gives it back in to Nichols. Nichols drives in. Puts up a shot over Stefan. Shot no good. Rims out. Stefan grabs the board. Back the other way we go. Lopez takes it outside the arc on the right wing. Stefan drives underneath. Going in now is Amor Lopez. And he's fouled in the paint. And they're going to wave off the shot. Say it was before he went up with the shot. And here comes Kalen Shane back into the ball game. And Marlon Johnson. The foul was called on New Mexico Highlands. On the far side, C.J. Davis with the entry pass. He'll fire a falling, fading three. And he hits, and the Mavs are up 16 to 11. C.J. Davis with the three on the inbound play. Now driving in against the tall timber. Shot goes up, and it's no good from Jonathan Mines, and he's fouled on the arm. A lot of heavy contact. And they're going to call this one on the Mavericks. Connor Nichols, the 6'6 freshman. From Acadia High School in Scottsdale. Number zero, Jonathan Mines at the line. Jonathan Mines goes to the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter, almost 81% on the season. The foul on Nichols was his first. Each team with four team fouls. And that free throw's off the front of the rim, no good. The Mavericks on a 10-point run. They trailed 11 to 6. And they have put their foot on the gas pedal and Gone on a 10-point run to take a 5-point lead, 16-11. to 11. CM, CMU women are trailing at the end of the first quarter in CSU Pueblo. That one lips out no good. Lopez will grab the board and walk it up the court for the Mavericks. With the left hand, he dribbles across the Maverick logo. Passes it off right, gets it back. Bounce pass to the high elbow. Skip out far side. Hawley will trigger the three. That one's off the back iron, no good. And going up high to grab that rebound is Ron Lawton. Lawton will bring it up for New Mexico Highlands. On the far side, Matthew Logan. Logan guarded by Amor Lopez. Lobs it down into the far side corner to Johnson. Johnson drives in, skips it out on the near side. Three on the way, and that one's off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Kalen Shane, and they'll reset back at the top. 12-13 remaining in the first half. Mavs up by five. Dribbling around a pick and firing a three. That's Jonathan Mines, and he hits. First points that New Mexico Highlands has had in quite some time. Breaks the Maverick 10-point run. Mines was six points so far in the game already. First time around, had 22. At the top of the key, C.J. Davis. He'll fire a three. That one's no good. And then coming in to yank down the board is Marlon Johnson for New Mexico Highlands. Bounce pass across the court. Far side, three on the way. That one's no good. C.J. Davis yanks down the board. Davis into the front court. Another quick three put up by C.J. Davis. That one's no good. And the rebound is controlled by New Mexico Highlands. That was Ron Lawton on that last attempt for New Mexico Highlands on their last trip. C.J. Davis no good on that trip for the Mavericks. New Mexico Highlands works it around the perimeter. Far side, they'll fire another three. That's Logan. Long rebound, no good. And Holly's going to be called for the foul, scrapping for the rebound with Marlon Johnson. Mark Felsky back at the Mavericks Sports Desk with a women's update with about six minutes left in the second quarter in Pueblo. The Thunderwolves 25-11 over the Mavericks, and now it's back. Thank you, Mark. And working it down low, going up with a one-handed jam is Kalen Shane, and we're tied at 16. Our first tie of the ball game. 
New Mexico Highlands jumped out early on the far side for the Mavericks. That's Hoffer. They'll work it back to the near side up top. There's a three-point opportunity. It's no good for Brandon Hoffer. And back the other way we come. New Mexico Highlands will set up at the top of the key, dribbling to the right elbow, now firing it out on the right wing. Ron Lawton. Lawton down low to Shane. Shane is a beast inside. Kick it out on the far side. There's driving in for the finger roll is Matthew Logan. And New Mexico Highlands has the lead back at 18-16. 10-23 remaining in the first half. Mavericks working it to the right side, going into the paint. Now underneath to Amor Lopez. Lopez goes up, has a shot blocked, and it goes out of bounds. It was blocked from behind by Marlon Johnson, and he knocks it out of bounds against Amor Lopez down low. So the Mavericks will inbound. They get it to Stefan. Stefan outside the arc. Now back up to the top, and that one is stolen. Ron Lawton taking it himself, goes in, picks up the ball. Looked like he walked with it, but he's going to get the easy layup, and it's 20-16. to 16. New Mexico Highlands back with a four-point lead. Quickly the other way, three-pointer on the way off the back iron. No good from Amor Lopez. Rebound is yanked down for New Mexico Highlands. They'll push it into the near side corner. Three-pointer on the way is no good from Jonathan Mines, and the rebound is tracked down by Amor Lopez. Lopez gets it ahead. To Hoffer. Hoffer pushes the pace into the front court. Gives it off to Connor Nichols. Nichols drives in one on one with uh, Leonard Stewart. And he gets the bucket. Stewart, the freshman from San Isidro, California. And the Mavs are back within two. It's 16 or at 20 to 18. Under 10 remaining in the first half. In the near side corner again. Three quickly put up. Barely catches iron from Matthew Logan. Mavs get the rebound. Chance to tie or lead on this trip. On the near side, Connor Nichols fires a quick three. Lots of contact, and he's fouled. Coming in late was Jonathan Mines. Got him with the body, and that'll send Connor Nichols to the free throw line to shoot three. That'll be the second on Mines. Connor Nichols at the free throw line. A 70% free throw shooter on the season. 9-0-1 remaining in the first half. Number 20, Connor Nichols at the line. And the Mavericks are at the line to shoot three. Both teams getting up and down the court, firing up quick shots in this game. First free throw is good. Connor Nichols kind of falls over the line as it goes in. This one to tie it at 20. Dribbles a couple times, fires this one up and good. Now, some changes. Coming back into the game, Ron Lawton had checked out. He's back in. Lawton had 28 points in the first meeting between these two teams. Comes back in for New Mexico Highlands. The third free throw is good, and the Mavs are back in the lead, 21-20. Third lead change already in the game. At the top, Logan has it. They'll work it to the far side. Coming away with it is Kendrick Nichols. Nichols onto the near side, into the corners. Lawton, Lawton dribbles out of trouble. Trying to get it underneath. The ball is loose. Scrapping for it is Kalen Shane. And we've got a timeout called by New Mexico Highlands. Welcome back to Brownson Arena. Inbound pass for New Mexico Highlands after they called that timeout to save the turnover. Trying to get the pass underneath. The ball tipped away. Out comes Amor Lopez. Lopez accelerates. Goes down the paint. Goes in. And he's going to be called. No, they get the block. That one could have gone either way, friends. But it was a block call on Ron. Looks like Lawton got back in time. And Lopez lowers his shoulder. And that was another hard foul. There have been several of those in this game. And that first free throw whips out no good. Here's James Healy from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the junior returning to the lineup for the Cowboys. Turned their roster over after last year's 5 and 21 season. Second free throw is up and good. Mavs up by 2, 22 to 20. This year improved 15 and 13. But they played three Division I programs in their non conference schedule. They'll weave it around the top. Marlon Johnson has it. Goes down into the far side corner. Three on the way is no good. And we've got a whistle as Matthew Logan steps on the baseline. 
Mavericks will maintain possession or get possession on that missed three-pointer by Matthew Logan trying to build on this 22-20 lead. And there's a hand check as they're starting to rape, r rein this in just a little bit. James Healy will be called for the hand check. 8.05 to go in the first half. 22-20, to 20, the Mavericks leading it. And that'll send Amor Lopez to the free throw line to shoot one and one. That's the seventh team foul on New Mexico Highlands. Front end is no good. And the rebound is controlled by Marlon Johnson. Johnson into the front court for New Mexico Highlands. Falls down trying to dribble behind his back and get away from Amor Lopez. But he saves it to the near side to Logan. Logan slowly dribbles to his right, then accelerates back to his left. Underhand pass over onto the far side wing to Nichols. Nichols drives in, puts up a shot over Ryan Steffen. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. It could be Steffen or Connor Nichols. 75% free throw shooter. Marlin out of Tall Tallahassee Community College. Transfer. Comes in from Chicago, Illinois. Hits his first free throw. And you notice there's a lot of Chicago kids on here. You've got Andre Hardy, Marlon Johnson, Ron Lawton, Kendrick Nichols, James, or uh, check that. You've also got Torin Washington, who did not make the trip. Kalen Shane, all from the Chicago area. That's because Craig Snow, their head coach, has deep ties there. This one is good as well. Played his college ball at Evansville. And thus the huge Chicago contingents. There's a baseline cutter, C.J. Davis for the Mavericks. They'll work it back to the top. A three fired up, and that one is good for Tanner Riley, who just checked in. So the Mavs take it back to a three-point lead, 25-22 on Tanner Riley's three. At the top, Marlon Johnson takes it down inside, and he's going to be called for the charge. Connor Nichols hustled over, got good position down on the right block. Number 11, Marlon Johnson. And Marlon Johnson backing his way in, made too much contact. He's called for the charge. And now we've got a substitution as Ruben Macias checks in. He's from Chihuahua, Mexico, out of New Mexico Junior College. We all know New Mexico Junior College fairly well around here. Remember Ray Birmingham and his bunch coming up for the Junior College World Series a few years back. Bounce pass to Van Tassel, goes into the right block, and he is mugged. Just flat out mugged by Kalen Shane. Just takes him out. There have been a lot of hard fouls both ways in this game. And that'll send Trevor Van Tassel to the free throw line. Van Tassel, 13 of 14 at the free throw line this year. Also from Green Mountain High School. He came in with Ryan Steffen, has been his backup. The entire career of Ryan Steffen. Ryan Steffen today named the RMAC Player of the Year. First free throw is good to make it 26-22. Second one rattles around and drops. So both Van Tassel and Ryan Steffen playing in their final opportunities as Mavericks dribbling around the top. Mines has it for New Mexico Highlands. They'll give it off. Working around to pick. They'll come back to the near side. Healy has it. Accelerates to the high post. Back out top of the key. Three fired up. That one is long. No good. There's Healy for the rebound. The three wouldn't go for Nichols, and Healy grabs the rebound. They'll reset. New Mexico Highlands goes all the way back out near midcourt. 6.39 remaining in the first half. Mines takes it. Dribbles towards the baseline against the double team. Now the ball is loose, and we've got a tie up. And the possession arrow will go to the Mavericks. The Mavericks create the tie-up. Reaching in was Tanner Riley. Got a hand on it. Also, Trevor Van Tassel was there. And Trevor Van Tassel and Connor Riley get that locked down. Mavericks get it up by five. Amor Lopez will dribble it across midcourt. Takes it out on the right wing. Crosses it over. Goes towards the baseline. Underhand scoop back out to C.J. Davis. He'll fire the three. It's no good. And there's Healy for the board. New Mexico Highlands will set up on the far side of the court. Jonathan Mines from Brisbane, Australia, takes it into the paint, kicks it out on the far side, trying to drive in is Macias. Macias can't get there. They go underneath, and going up with a left hand was Kendrick Nichols. He couldn't get the shot to fall from underneath the backboard. Amor Lopez into the front court, accelerates towards the baseline, kicks it out to C.J. Davis. Davis, running one-hander, up and over, Kalen Shane. C.J. Davis with five in the game, and the Mavs are up 29-22. 5.40 remaining first half. 
Macias, he'll fire the three. That one is no good. Long rebound to go out of bounds, and the Mavericks will get the ball. Down on the floor, Connor Nichols has been hustling up and down, playing offense, defense, kind of great, tugging at the bottom of the shorts after that trip. Amor Lopez comes across the midcourt stripe, takes it out on the right wing, around a pick from Van Tassel. Right elbow, hands it off to Davis. Davis looks right, throws up a teardrop. This one comes up short. Rebound is grabbed by Macias, and he's into the front court. Macias will pass it out now on the right wing to Mines. Mines backs out, resets. Healy gets it. He's guarded by Riley. They'll work it around the perimeter now. Mines looking underneath. And there's big Kalen Shane. Shane in the left block, tries to pass it across the court, and that's stolen. Out comes Tanner Riley. Riley ahead to Amor Lopez, and he's going to be called for the travel. Lopez trying to get some separation, gets called for a traveling violation, and turns it back over. 4.50 remaining in the first half. Here comes Ron Lawton back into the ball game. Out goes James Healy. And this one has been an entertaining affair all the way. New Mexico Highlands at the top of the key. That's Macias. Near side Mines. Low down entry pass. They get a double team on Kalen Shane. And we've got a whistle and a stoppage. They're going to tie it up. Mavs tie it up. And the possession arrow goes back to New Mexico Highlands. 4.35 remaining. First half. Mavs lead it by 7. 29-22. Far side. They'll hand it off. Dribbling around to pick comes Lawton. Lawton goes in against a double team. Throws a shot up and loses it out of bounds. The Mavericks are starting to shut down the middle. Early on in the game, they gave up some easy layups. The Mavericks have shut down the lanes here the last couple of minutes. They lead at 29-22 over New Mexico Highlands. In the front court for the Mavericks, Connor Nichols. Riley, Riley takes it into the paint, running one-hander off the right side of the rim, and it's good. And the Mavericks have their biggest lead of the game, nine points, 31-22. 4.05 to go in the first half. The Mavericks, defense almost creates a turnover. C.J. Davis reached a hand out on that pass and almost had a steal in front of the Mav bench off to our right. But the ball goes out of bounds, and Andy Schantz gets the ball. Of course, Andy had a great playing career here. 15-year assistant for Jim Heaps. Took over when Jim Heaps retired. On the inbound near side, Kendrick Nichols. Nichols gets it into Mines. Mines points directions. Gives it to the top of the key to Marlon Johnson. Goes into the paint. The ball loose. And the still rolling around on the floor. And then coming out of the rugby scrum, it comes out to Van Tassel. Van Tassel ahead to Amor Lopez. And he's in for the easy layup. And the Mavs lead by 11. That looked like a rugby scrum. Bodies everywhere, and all of a sudden the ball flips out to Trevor Van Tassel, who pushes it ahead. 3.33 to go in the first half. Mavs up by 11, driving into the paint as Mines goes up with the shot, and they're going to wave it off. He was fouled before he was able to put that one up. And that'll bring in. Going into that timeout, Craig Snow, the head coach for New Mexico Highlands, lobbying that it should have been a shooting foul. Of course, you never win that. Have you ever noticed that? The coach, I've never seen the coach actually change the mind of the officials. So the front end of the one and one is good for Jonathan Mines. He's got seven points tonight for New Mexico Highlands. Mavericks up by 10 now, 33-23. Glad you could join us tonight here on 1100 KNZZ, 980 KGLN. Those of you watching on the internet, as the second free throw drops, back to a nine-point game. C.J. Davis at the top of the key. High post to Amor Lopez. He'll take it down the left side. He'll bank it off the glass. And Amor Lopez starting to take over. He's got seven points. Mavericks offense starting to get a little better flow to it. Of course, it also helps when big Kalen Shane, 6'10", is on the bench. Three on the way from Healy is no good. And the rebound comes down to C.J. Davis. Davis will push it ahead. Amor Lopez on the left wing. Back up top to Davis. Hoffer. Check that it was Tanner Riley with the basketball. Hoffer 
not in the game right now. Little ball fake by Riley, goes in, puts up the shot, can't get it to fall. Rattles around, the rebound is yanked down by Marlon Johnson for New Mexico Highlands. Healy back into the front court, they'll work it around the perimeter. Looking for their shot. On the near side, Jonathan Mines. Mines takes it, accelerates into the paint, and they're going to call him for a travel. That'll be a turnover, and away we go the other direction. And with that, Matthew Logan from Kiama Downs, Australia, checks in for New Mexico Highlands. At the top for the Mavericks, Connor Nichols. Nichols gives it off to Amer Lopez. Lopez dribbles inside the arc, now pulls it back out. Can't decide what to do, gives it up to C.J. Davis. Nine on the shot clock. Davis just inside the out-of-bounds line, fires up a long-range three, no good. Rebound is controlled by Johnson. Johnson accelerates into the front court, fires it out far corner. They'll give it up to the wing, three on the way, and it's good for Jonathan Mines. Makes it 35-27, eight-point Maverick lead. Jonathan Mines has 11 for New Mexico Highlands. Amor Lopez dribbling around at the top of the key, takes it out on the right wing. He'll go into the paint, reverse layup, no good. Skying for the rebound is Marlon Johnson. Johnson will take it himself, get across the timeline. Now he's got three Mavs around him, ball loose. It's like Curly Neal from the Globetrotters. He's able to get out of it. What a dribbling display. Out on the left wing, Ron Lawton. Lawton dribbles around a pick, now goes into the corner. Three on the way, and that one is no good. Out of Kendrick Nichols' hand, and the rebound is controlled by the Mavericks' Tanner Riley. Riley into the front court to Amer Lopez. 109 to go first half. Leaves it for C.J. Davis. He'll fire the three. That one's off the back iron. No good. Rebound is holed in by Ron Lawton. Lawton into the front court. Matthew Logan takes it on the left wing. Starts inside the arc, now gives it back out. 54 seconds to go first half. Crossover dribble for Mines. Mines will fire the three. It's no good. There's a rebound and a stick back for Kendrick Nichols, and he's fouled on the attempt. Count the bucket and send him to the line for one. And a half and east of 31 and a half road. For more information, visit MandyRush.com. The free throw is good as we come back. 48 seconds to go, and New Mexico Highlands will go into a full court press down by five. They'll get it ahead. C.J. Davis has it. 43 seconds to go in the first half. Amor Lopez out near midcourt. 20 seconds on the shot clock. He'll burn off as much time as he can before they get the offense set. 35-30. to 30. Mavs leading it here on their home court. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Amor Lopez now starts forward. Goes around to pick. Takes it to the right side. Bounce pass underneath to Van Tassel. Loses the ball and he's not going to get a shot off. Van Tassel had the ball batted out of his hands as he started to go up. The ball never hit the rim, and now we're going to get a shot clock violation. The officials come over. I think they're going to want to put some time back on the big clock. 17 seconds showing right now. Put six-tenths of a second back on. I know. It's silly to me. Six-tenths of a second, not going to make that big of a difference. But we have to be accurate. 35-30, Mavs leading. In the front court, Jonathan Mines do the same thing. Seven seconds to go. Now they'll get serious about the offense. Takes it to the left side. There's a lob alley-oop, no good. Shot goes back up. It's partially blocked by Van Tassel, and we're at halftime. So we get ready to start the second half. Mavs will have the ball. They move left to right in their home white uniforms. Visiting purple for New Mexico Highlands. Down low. They try to get it to Stefan. Then they try and move it around to Brandon Hoffer. And it goes out of bounds. Mavs will maintain possession. Last touched by New Mexico Highlands. 35-30. The... Mavericks in the lead. There's a drive from the top, and the layup won't fall. Trying to go underhand was Brandon Hoffer. New Mexico Highlands quickie back the other way, and a three on the way, and we got a whistle and a foul on Kabir West. Jonathan Mines fires up a three, and then with a little bit of contact, he could be a kicker in the NFL with that one. He was barely touched, and he just plays out. Yeah, why not? You get the call, and you go to the free throw line to shoot three after Kabir West picks up the foul. 
Uh, this one of local interest here. The uh, Fruita Monument girls fall to Broomfield in their 5A playoff game tonight, 45-35, to and have been eliminated from the 5A tournament. The first free throw is up and good for Jonathan Mines. Mines was 2 of 4 in the first half at the free throw line. With that free throw, he's got 12. Second one is no good. Just underway in the second half. And Kabir West will have to uh, come out of the ball game. Connor Nichols will come in for him. The third free throw falls, and it's a three-point lead for the Mavericks, 35-32. Into the front court comes Hoffer. Amor Lopez, now they work at far side corner to Connor Nichols. Back the other way they come, top of the key. Hoffer takes it inside the arc. Back out, they'll cycle it around down low. Amor Lopez, 13 on the shot clock. Hoffer takes it left elbow. I'm trying to get something open. Mavericks moving it around the perimeter. Left side, there's a three on the way for Connor Nichols. That's no good. Long rebound for Healy. For New Mexico Highlands. Minute gone here in the second half. Mavericks up three. Near side, Healy gets it. Ken James Healy to the high post. Now they go down low to Kalen Shane, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Amor Lopez. And every time Kalen Shane gets it down low, they collapse at least two Mavs on him, if not three. Highlands will inbound all the way to the top. Into the near side corner. Mines will fire the three. It's no good. And there's Ryan Stefan yanking down the board. He'll push it ahead. Mavericks. Hoffer takes it to the right elbow. Bounce pass out to Amor Lopez. Drives in. Falling down. Loses the ball. And coming out with it is Mines. Mines pushes it ahead to Johnson. Johnson skip pass across and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Connor Nichols who got a hand in there to break up that pass. And Lopez got going a little too fast. Lost his balance. That created the turnover, and New Mexico Highlands back the other way. A lob comes in high to Johnson off the inbound pass underneath to Shane, and he'll hammer it home with a dunk. And we have a whistle stoppage delay a game on Kalen Shane is the call. Because after he hammered it home, he... Kicked the ball out of bounds with his hand, you know. Amor Lopez drives in, one-on-one, -on -one, goes up with a shot, and he's fouled. Healy took something to, took an elbow to the head, I think, for New Mexico Highlands. The foul not on him. Foul on Kendrick Nichols, and that's going to send Amor Lopez to the free throw line. And Healy still holding his head. They're going to send him out. Maybe have a little bit of blood along that, about the part of his hair. Lopez at the line shooting two. 35-34 the score. And the first free throw is no good for Mamer Lopez. Eighteen, eighteen remaining first half. Lopez second free throw in and out no good. Lopez just one of seven at the free throw line tonight after those two misses. Holding the ball near midcourt, New Mexico Highlands sets up the offense. Kick it off left. We'll go to the high post trying to get it underneath to Shane. Back up top, there's a pass inside trying to get it to Shane. The ball swatted away. Shane double teamed to the left block. Baseball pass across the court onto the right side. Three pointer fired and good. Kendrick Nichols rises up and nails the three, and New Mexico Highlands is back in the lead, 37-35. Down low, Stefan goes up with a shot, and there's a reach-in foul underneath. Stefan was silent in the first half, had just seven points. And he'll get a chance to go to the free throw line after that foul on Kalen Shane. Be the second on Kalen Shane for a second team foul on New Mexico Highlands. Stefan's first free throw is up and good. Shh. 
have an update from CSU Pueblo. The CMU women are within eight after trailing by 20. They're down 37-29 to the Thunder Wolves. Second free throw is good. We're tied at 37. New Mexico Highlands hanging right in there with the Mavericks. They get it down low to Kalen. Shane goes up with a shot. It's no good. And then Ryan Steffen had the rebound momentarily, and Kalen Shane comes through. You can hear the slap up here. Got him on the arm. And Shane will pick up his third personal. And then he goes sprawling out. Bodies going everywhere. Kalen Shane, when he lays out on the floor, takes up a ton of space. Kalen Shane, 6'10", the senior from Chicago, Illinois. And he will come out with his third personal foul. Kalen Shane had a clean look at the basket and just left it a little bit short on that layup. And Ryan Steffen grabbed the rebound. Shane came over the top and smacked him on the arm. And we're ready to go again. 37-37 our score. Opening round of the Armac shootout. Bounce pass high post for the Mavericks. Connor Nichols. Nichols down low to Steffen. Loses it. Goes up with the shot and he's hammered on the arm. Marlon Johnson got the ball but followed through and took a big old hunk of skin with him. And Marlon Johnson will be ticketed with that foul, and that will send Ryan Steffen to the free throw line again. And the Mavericks, you can tell, making a concerted effort to get Ryan Steffen involved in the game. By the way, in the first half, did not catch this at the time because of the nature of the game. As Marlon Johnson picked up his third first free throw is good. Ryan Steffen has passed Paul Kane as second all-time on the RMAC scoring, or the history of the Mavericks scoring list. Second free throw is up and good, 39-37 our score. But uh, great career for Ryan Steffen. He is the number two scorer in the history of this program. 11 points for him tonight. His fourth point put him in number two spot. Here's a turnaround jumper, and that one is rejected by Nate Hawley. That triggers a break back the other way, and finishing it with the easy layup is Connor Nichols. Into the front court, stepping inside the arc, turning, firing it out, three on the way, and that one is good for Ron Lawton for the Cowboys. 41-40, Mavs lead it by one. 16-23 to go in the game. Step back three on the way, and that one is left short. And it goes out of bounds. Nobody got to it. You Logan down there, the closest New Mexico Highland Cowboy. Connor Nichols went flying as they were scrapping for that board. Chance for New Mexico Highlands to recapture the lead. Driving inside is Mines. Mines fires it out. Left wing, and there's a three good. Ron Lawton nails the three. Ten for him. And it's a two-point Cowboy lead, 43-41. Lob low for Stefan. Stefan goes up with a shot. Has that one blocked from behind by Andre, Andre Hardy. And then New Mexico Highlands back in the front court. They'll work it around the perimeter. They lead by two. Under 16 to go. Next whistle will have a stoppage. On the near side, there's Lawton again firing the three. That one's no good. And the rebound falls into the arms of Nichols. Nichols ahead to Amor Lopez. Lopez dribbles to his right, hands it off to C.J. Davis. High post, Stefan. Stefan turns, wags the ball low, goes up with a shot, can't get it to fall, gets his own rebound, put back, won't go. Ball loose again. And Ryan Stefan going in, trying to get a tie up. Could have had a travel, no call, but back the other way we go. And there's Mines going in for the layup. And Jonathan Mines rolls that one in. And it's a four-point lead for the Cowboys. 45-41, Amor Lopez, front court. Around a pick from Stefan. He'll back it out and reset. 15 points for Jonathan Mines of New Mexico Highlands. Driving down the left side of the paint, going up with a shot. Had that one partially blocked was Connor Nichols. Rebound controlled by the Cowboys. Cowboys walk it up the far side. Crossover dribble by Jonathan Mines. The Australian will fire the three. It's no good, and there's a rebound for Stefan. He'll give it to Lopez, who will walk it into the front court. 
Maverick slowing the pace a little bit. Amor Lopez drives into the paint, banks that one off the glass, and Amor Lopez gets the easy deuce. Nine points for Amor Lopez. Back to a two point, or it's 47 45, my bad. 47 40. Make the scoreboards off. Just saying, I had it 45 43. Step back three on the other end. Lawton throws up an air ball, and the rebound is controlled by the Mavericks. 45 43 the score. CMU down by two. At the top, Lopez, wide open at the three-point line, goes in, then pulls his pivot foot, and that's a travel, and that'll be a media timeout. 13.40 to go in the ball game. Mavs are back with And he has turned things around for him This year, a good year, 15-13 and 13 overall. 14-8 and eight in conference play. And looks like they are on the uptick. Dribbling around at the top of the key is Mines. Jonathan Mines kicks it out. There's a drive in. Neymar Lopez is going to be called for the block. Driving in from outside was Matthew Logan from Kiama Downs, Australia. Matter call number 35, Neymar Lopez. His first personal foul. That'll be the first on Neymar Lopez, and New Mexico Highlands will inbound. Four Australians on the New Mexico Highlands lineup roster. And a huge contingency from Chicago. Fadeaway jumper is good from Jonathan Mines, and he's looking to match his effort the first time. He's got 17 tonight, had 22 in the first meeting between these two teams. Four-point lead for New Mexico Highlands. Amor Lopez steps back beyond the arc. He'll fire a three, and it's good. One-point game, 47-46. Cowboys lead it over the Mavericks. Outside a pick, Mines dribbles towards the top of the key. Now back out on the far wing. Driving in, putting up a shot off the glass, and that one is good for Kendrick Nichols. Mavericks push it back the other way quickly. Amor Lopez into the paint, scoop shot, no good. Kabir West with the rebound, goes up with a shot, and he's fouled hard. Andre Harde got him with the right arm, and that'll send Kabir West to the free throw line. Cowboy foul number 10, Andre Hardy, his first personal foul. So Andre Hardy picks up his first personal. Andre, one of those Chicago kids. That ties into Craig Snow's history. He went to Evansville and played his college basketball there. Free throw is up and good for Kabir West, and we're back within two, 49-47. The Mavs are down. The ties he made while he was at the University of New Mexico, thus the Australian connection. Second free throw for West is good. And it's back to a one-point game, 49-48. Four points for Kabir West so far tonight. On the near side, Jonathan Mines. Jonathan Mines dribbles around the outside, goes up against Stefan, and Stefan's going to be called for the foul. And Ryan Stefan comes out with that grimace Walking towards the near sideline as they say they got him with the body. That'll be his third personal foul. And that sends Jonathan Mines to the free throw line. Ryan Steffen steps into the official and says, what did I do? Where did I get him? I don't, I don't know that I got him with body. This is Jonathan Mines to the free throw line. First one is up and off the front of the rim, no good. Mines an 80% free throw shooter on the season. Has not had a good night. Two for four in the first half. Missed that one. With 12.21 to go in the game. Second free throw is on its way, and that one lips out no good. Amor Lopez grabs the board, and away we go back the other way. Mavs move left to right. They've got the white uniforms. On the far side, Kabir West up top, C.J. Davis. He'll fire from three, and it's off the rim. Kicks out to the right. The rebound is tracked down by Andre Hardy. Hardy will get the ball ahead into the front court to Ron Lawton. They'll work it around. Jonathan Mines has it. C.J. Davis comes out on him, fights through a pick. Going into the paint is Jonathan Mines, and he's called for a charge. Van Tassel, who came in for Ryan Steffen. And how about that comeback going on for the Lady Mavs over at CSU Pueblo? Ryan Steffen out, Van Tassel in for the Mavericks. 
three fouls on Ryan Stephan. Amor Lopez takes it in, goes up with a running one-hander, and gets a little Amor. finger roll, and the Mavs are back in the lead, 50-49. to 11.37 to go in the game. Mavs up by one. On the near side, they work it on the wing to the Cowboys. Matthew Logan around the top, weaving around as Healy. Healy steps inside the top of the key, puts up a 17-footer. It's no good, and the Mavs can't get the rebound. It's out of bounds. Last touched by Kabir West. 14 points tonight for Amor Lopez. Lopez in the first meeting between these two teams had 17. Lopez this year averaged 12 points a ball game on the inbound pass. There's a lay-in for Kendrick Nichols outside the right block. And it's a one-point lead for the Cowboys, 51-50. Amor Lopez goes down the left side this time, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound is controlled by Lawton. Ron Lawton dribbles out of traffic into the front court, weaves around a man and dishes it off to the right side to Matthew Logan. Logan with a left-handed dribble, kicks it out, three on the way, and that one is no good for Kendrick Nichols. Rebound by Van Tassel. Amor Lopez into the front court, accelerates past midcourt stripe, goes in, left-handed layup is good, and the Mavs are back up 52-51. Been a fun game tonight, back and forth all night long. Right side, dribbling around to pick is Matthew Logan. On the near side, Lawton will fire the three. That one's no good, and Van Tassel grabs the board. Bounce to him. Into the front court, Kabir West to Amor Lopez. Lopez asks for help. C.J. Davis peels around a pick. He'll fire a three. C.J. Davis gives it a, a four-point lead to the Mavericks. 55-51, peeling around a pick at the top of the key. C.J. Davis with eight. We've got a timeout called by New Mexico Highlands. The Cowboys want to talk it over. Guaranteed to be the number two all-time scorer in Maverick history. What a career it has been for him. He's the RMAC Player of the Year as named today. Across the timeline comes Jonathan Mines. He'll hand it off on the right side. They lob low into the near side block. Dribbling away from his man is Marlon Johnson trying to back Van Tassel down, and he banks it off the glass and good. Marlon Johnson with six tonight. Amor Lopez in the front court works off the right wing, crosses it over to the near side elbow. To C.J. Davis, back to Lopez. He'll fire the three. That one is no good. Rebound is yanked down by Kendrick Nichols. Out of Malcolm X High School in Chicago, Illinois. In the front court, Jonathan Mines. Mines dribbles to the far side of the court. Lobs it back over the head of a defender to Ron Lawton. Lawton has a man peeling off of the baseline. There's a three on the way, and that one's good. Kendrick Nichols nails the three and silences the fans because New Mexico Highlands don't look now. Just recaptured the lead, 56-55. And down the stretch we come. C.J. Davis will fire a quick three. No good, long rebound. Comes out to Jonathan Mines from Brisbane, Australia. Mines in the front court, picked up by C.J. Davis. Passes it off to Marlon Johnson. Johnson skips it to the far side corner. Works it back to the top, accelerating, taking it towards the right side. Up top, Healy has it, going in, and Van Tassel's going to get a hard foul in on Marlon Johnson and send him to the free throw line instead of giving him an easy layup. Marlon Johnson at the line. So Marlon Johnson at the free throw line, a flagrant foul on Trevor Van Tassel, and the first one is up and good. and then New Mexico Highlands will get the ball back. Second free throw hits the front of the rim, rolls up, and gets the shooter's roll to drop. Three-point lead. Ryan Steffen back into the ball game. C.J. Davis, Ryan Steffen, Amor Lopez, Kabir West, and Tanner Riley on the court for the Mavericks. New Mexico Highlands with a three-point lead. Inbound pass to Marlon Johnson. Rises up from the free throw line. Fires a hot pass down low to Jonathan Mines. And we have a whistle and a foul before that. And it's going to be against the Mavericks' Tanner Riley. That'll be the second on Tanner Riley. Fifth team foul. So the inbound play again. Jonathan Mines left of the basket. Gets it in to Marlon Johnson. Johnson one-on-one with West. Now fires it out far side to Mines. Mines goes into the paint. 
He'll lay that one up. It rattles around no good. There's Marlon Johnson for the rebound and the stick back. Mavs down by 5, 8.23 to go in the game. Amor Lopez up the court he comes. Dribbles with his right hand, takes it to the right side. Kicks it to the left. Up top, Tanner Riley. Riley looking for the cutter. It's C.J. Davis. Davis towards the baseline near side. They'll work it around far side. Kabir, da- Kabir West dribbles once and gives it up at the top of the key. Amor Lopez will fire a three off the near side wing. No good. Stefan trying to get the rebound. Comes down, gets up with a little bit of a limp as he tries to head down the court. Jonathan Mines sets up just inside the out-of-bounds line on the far side of the court. 7.49 to go. Around a pick. He dishes it off to the left, back up top to Mines. Mines will hand it off to Kendrick Nichols. Nichols gets it to Marlon Johnson. Johnson fadeaway jumper won't go. Kabir West goes up, gets the rebound. He'll turn, run up the court, down the near side. Passes inside to West, spins through the paint, banks it off the glass, and good! Kabir West with a spin and a layup, and it's back to a three-point game. 60-57, New Mexico Highlands up by three. Marlon Johnson, they'll work it to the near side. Jonathan Mines. Mines around a pick from big Kalen Shane. Now he drives in. No look shot goes up, and it's out of bounds off of the leg of Ryan Steffen. And with that, we've got a media timeout. 7 39 rebounds to 30. New Mexico Highlands has out-rebounded the Mavericks. On the inbound pass, that one gets away. Tracking it down on the far side is Ryan Steffen. He'll turn. Push it ahead, Kabir West. West going into the paint, up and over, and has that shot swatted all the way up against the back wall by Ron Lawton. Boy, he came in and swatted that one way out of bounds. 6.58 to go in the game. Mavericks down by three. Inbound left of the basket. Inbound pass comes in to Steffen. Stefan has been fairly quiet tonight. The guy who averaged 26 points a game on the season. Kabir West wide open for a three. No good. And the rebound comes off and it's yanked down by Kalen Shane. Into the front court comes Jonathan Mines for the Cowboys. He'll back it out near midcourt. C.J. Davis on him. Marlon Johnson down low. And we've got a whistle and a walk on Kalen Shane as they got it down to him. He was battling hard with Ryan Steffen. Looked like Steffen may have hooked him a little bit, and he gets called for the walk. It's like, what? I didn't do it. A little frustrated saying that he got hooked by Steffen. The officials didn't see it. He gets called for the travel. The turnover goes the other way. Mavs can tie it with a three. Left side, Hoffer, rather Riley. Kabir West gets it on the left wing, drives in, goes up, has that shot rejected. Once again by Ron Lawton. Lawton gets it down the wing, coming in, and there's a jam by Marlon Johnson. He stuffs that one home with authority. Had a man on him, and he goes up with a right-hand tomahawk jam. 62-57. Mavs down by five. Ryan Steffen against Kalen Shane. Turns in the block, and there's a whistle and a foul. And getting a little heated. Craig Snow, the head coach of New Mexico Highlands, didn't like the call on Kalen Shane, his big man. And Kalen Shane will check out with four personal fouls. Ryan Steffen going to the line. They're going to say Shane pushed. And Ryan Steffen at the free throw line. Puts it up and good. And Kalen Shane... We'll take a seat. He's a transfer from John A. Logan. John A. Logan outside of Chicago, a community college. We've seen him here at the Junior College World Series a few years back. Stefan hits his first free throw. Second one is good, and it's back to a three-point game. Marlon Johnson starts to dribble inside. Triple team, bodies go flying. Mavericks come out with it. Ryan Steffen ahead to Kabir West. The ball tapped out of bounds, and the Mavericks will maintain possession. Jonathan Mines got in there, got his left hand on it, and knocks it out of bounds. Ryan Steffen gets credit for the steal, his first of the night. 5.33 to go in the game. Inbound to C.J. Davis. Kabir West, top of the key, looking for a cutter, and then pulls it back down. 
Hands it off to C.J. Davis. He'll put up a shot from the right elbow. That one's no good. Stefan able to get the rebound. Turns in the paint. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebounded by Amor Lopez. Trying to get it to Stefan, and we got a kick. He was trying to get it to Ryan Stefan, and one of the Cowboys got a, I think it was their right leg on it. He's called for the kick. I think it was Marlon Johnson. Mavs down by three, inbounding right of their own basket. Stefan, C.J. Davis, Kabir West. Connor Nichols on the court with Amor Lopez. Lopez will get it near the circle. Accelerates down the right side of the paint. Gets his man in the air. Goes up with the shot. Picks it off the glass. And the Mavs are back within one. Nice job. You can just see the lane open up. And um, Amor Lopez drives in. He's got 18 tonight. Taking it in for... New Mexico Highlands is Jonathan Mines. He'll pull it back out. Far side, Healy gets it, drives baseline. Kabir West comes over. They're going to call him for the block. He was a little late getting there. And even more importantly, Kabir West down holding on to his right ankle. Lots of heavy contact as Kabir West came in on the baseline and gets called for the block. Number call number four, Kabir West, his fourth personal foul. And West dinged up on the play. Picks up his fourth personal foul. And West obviously in pain down there on the left end of the court. Number 24, James Healy at the line. James Healy at the free throw line for New Mexico Highlands. Healy, an 83% free throw shooter, hits the first. And here's Nate Hawley off the bench. And Kabir West limps to the near side. Healy with the second attempt is no good. 63-61. New Mexico Highlands up by two with 4.44 to go. Amor Lopez takes it into the paint. Back out to the top to Stefan. Stefan gets a man in the air. Dribbles past him. Has Amor Lopez in the right block. And Lopez lies it, lays it in for the tie at 63. Lopez with 20. Leading the way for the Mavericks. And coming back the other way, we've got a hand check on C.J. Davis. So C.J. Davis picks up the foul, and that's the seventh. And that's going to send Jonathan Mines to the free throw line. We have an update on the CMU women. It's going to overtime, 52 all. The Mavericks battle back, tie it up, and they send it to overtime in Pueblo. The front end of the one-and-one one is no good. The rebound is controlled by Stefan. Into the front court, C.J. Davis. They'll back out to Amor Lopez. Tries to dribble behind his back. Has that one stolen. Out with it is Lawton. Lawton gets it ahead and going in. Another hammer home for Marlon Johnson. <laughs> Amor Lopez. After that turnover on the last trip down, dribbles around a pick from Ryan Steffen, gets a wide open look, and he goes in to lay it home, and we're tied at 65. Lopez now with 22 for the Mavericks. At the top, Jonathan Mines gets a little separation, fires up the three, no good, and the rebound is yanked out of the air by Brandon Hoffer. Amor Lopez walks it into the front court. Dribbles to his right, around a pick, goes into the paint. The finger roll is no good, and the rebound is controlled by New Mexico Highlands. Coming back the other way, Jonathan Mines goes in, and he lays it home. Two-point lead for New Mexico Highlands, 67-65. Three minutes and ten seconds to go in the game. Amor Lopez, top of the key, nobody on him. He'll fire the three, it's a rattle and a run. Can't get the shooter's roll. And the rebound comes down to Ron Lawton. They backed off of Amor Lopez, and he fires up the three-pointer. Looked like it was going to get the shooter's roll, but drops off the edge in the front court. It's Jonathan Mines, dribbles to the left side, guarded tightly by C.J. Davis. He goes in, rolls up a one-hander, and somehow gets that to fall. 69-65, New Mexico Highlands up by four. Coming back the other way, Lopez accelerates around a pick, and he stuffs it home. This high was 18 against Fort Lewis back on January 15th. 
And the former member of the Puerto Rico national team has 24 tonight. Dribbling to the left, Jonathan Mines, the chant of defense. Crossover dribble, driving in is Lawton. He can't get the shot to fall, and then climbs back over Ryan Steffen. Pass across the court, and that one is stolen by Riley. Nichols has it. Puts it the shot and we're tied. The 15-footer is good. Connor Nichols with nine points, ties this game at 69. A minute 48 to go. Backing it out, and we want a timeout, says New Mexico Highlands. And they'll take a timeout to talk things over. It's a full timeout table. 1.43 to go. The inbound pass into the backcourt. Tracked down by Jonathan Mines. Mines across the timeline. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Dribbles around the pick. Top of the key. He's guarded by Kabir West. West playing with four fouls. Mines drives in. Puts up the shot. It's no good. And there's Kabir West with the rebound. He'll give it up to Amor Lopez. 1.24 to go. Mavericks will walk the ball up the court. With a minute 20 to go in the game. They played a close one a couple weeks ago against Regis. Able to win in similar fashion. Lopez drives in off the left side. Finger roll is good and the Mavs up by two. Here comes New Mexico Highlands. Jonathan Mines fires a three and he's fouled and count the bucket. Oh my, the three-pointer is good and he's got a chance to make it a two-point game. The foul is on Kabir West who fouls out of the game. Jonathan Mines hits the three-pointer. He's got 24 points tonight. And Kabir West fouls out with 58 seconds to go. Nate Holly, the junior from Montrose, checks back in for the Mavericks. And Jonathan Mines will go to the free throw line where he is 4 for 10 tonight. A guy who on the season was 80%, almost 81%, is 4 for 10 in this game. That one is no good. Four for 11. Mavs down by one. 53 seconds to go. Lopez around to pick. Kicks it to the near side. Now back up top to Lopez. Lopez backs it out. He's got a career high tonight. Takes it down into the right block. Up top, Stefan gets it. Near side, Lopez. Lopez dribbles around that pick again. Entry pass down low to Stefan. It's turned over. And the Mavericks are going to have to foul. They're going to have to foul Jonathan Mines. They reach out and get him with 28 seconds to go. New Mexico Highlands is up by one. <sighs> what a game it has been back and forth. Mavs have timeouts to burn if they need them. 28 seconds to go. And Jonathan Mines is at the free throw line. Four for 11 at the charity stripe, shooting one and one. New Mexico Highlands has everybody back at midcourt. And this one is good. Mines now with 25 points. Makes it a two-point game, 73-71. Jonathan Mines' second free throw. Rattles around, no good. Amor Lopez will bring it up the court. Mavs down by two. And we've got a timeout called by the Mavericks with 23 seconds to go in the game. It's a full timeout. With 48 seconds left in overtime in Pueblo, it's the Thunderwolves up on the Lady Mavs, 61-59. Back to Greg Wenzel of Brownson. Here it's 73-71, 23 seconds to go. Amor Lopez takes the inbound pass, dribbles down low, gives it up to Ryan Steffen. He's guarded tightly, gives it off on the left side. Mavericks looking for help. Ryan Steffen gets it. Goes with the ball fake. And now we've got a whistle and a timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it right here with 11 and a half seconds. 11 and a half seconds to go. Lopez inbounds it into the backcourt. C.J. Davis. Lopez on the wing. Nine to go. Dribbles into the paint. Wide open. Easy lay up and we're tied. 5.9 seconds to go and a timeout called by the Mavericks. 73-73 in this opening round of the RMAC shootout. 
On the inbound on the baseline, it's Kendrick Nichols. Nichols to Jonathan Mines, weaving through traffic. Three seconds, fires up a half-court shot, no good. Ball tipped out, we're going OT, baby! Overtime next in this one that's tied at 73. The Mavericks, it'll be Ryan Steffen against Marlon Johnson, both of them 6'10", to jump it off. The tip controlled by the Mavericks. Big nights for Amor Lopez and Jonathan Mines, both of them leading their teams. Amor Lopez drives inside, kicks it back out. Ryan Steffen wide open from three. Ryan Nothing but net. Steffen. 16 points for Ryan Steffen in a game that's been conspicuously quiet for him. Ron Lawton. Has it on the left wing, up top to Jonathan Mines. Mines around a pick. He'll fire a three back the other way. No good. And there's Ryan Steffen for the board. Ryan Steffen, 18 minutes, 16 points. Gets that rebound. Amor Lopez takes it to the right block. Back out to Steffen. He'll fire from three again. That one's no good. And we go the other direction. Dribbling towards the top is Nichols. Kendrick Nichols inside to Marlon Johnson. Johnson puts up the shot, no good. And trying to save it is Amor Lopez on the baseline. Can't do it, and it'll be New Mexico Highlands basketball. Mavs shooting 41% from the floor. New Mexico Highlands 38% through four quarter or two halves of basketball. Inbound pass from Jonathan Mines comes up to the top to Lawton to the near side. Kendrick Nichols, he'll fire the three. That's no good. Rebounded by C.J. Davis. The 6'2 sophomore goes up and gets the rebound. Amor Lopez will bring the ball up the court. 3.49 to go here in overtime. Lopez dribbles around a pick, takes it to the right. He's contested this time, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound is controlled by Ron Lawton, who's played a lot of minutes off the bench tonight for the Cowboys. On the far side, ball fake by Kendrick Nichols. Nichols down low to Lawton. Lawton pushed out, guarded tightly by Connor Nichols. Lots of contact, no call. Shot goes up, no good. And now they're going to get Lawton over the back on the rebound. And Ryan Steffen will go to the other end to shoot free throws. Craig Snow not happy with the call. Letting both officials that are near him hear it. There was a ton of contact on the drive-in between Marlon Johnson and Connor Nichols. The foul winds up going on Marlon Johnson on the rebound. It'll be his fourth. And check that, it's not Ryan Steffen. It's C.J. Davis at the free throw line. C.J. Davis this year at the free throw line, 88%. And he's shooting one and one. Both teams in the one and one. Next foul on New Mexico Highlands will put the Mavs in the double bonus. That's just the... Or next foul on CMU, rather, will put New Mexico Highlands in the double bonus. Free throw is good. 77-73. Mavs up by four. Just eight team fouls in the second half on the Cowboys. C.J. Davis hits both of them. Five-point lead for CMU. Into the front court, Jonathan Mines. Mines lobs it to the high post. Skip pass into the near side corner. Quickly move back up to the top to Ron Lawton. Lawton will fire the three. And it's no good. Out of bounds. So the Mavericks with a chance to extend this lead. 3.04 to go in overtime. Amor Lopez dribbles to the right side, cut off, peels it back to the top. Far side corner, Holly comes open and he hits the three! Nate Holly makes it an eight point lead, 81 73. The Mavericks owning overtime. Timeout called by the Cowboys. We're in overtime. Amor Lopez with a career high tonight for the Mavericks. Jonathan Mines drives in, goes up with a shot. It's no good. The ball is loose, spinning out of the hands of Holly. It's picked up by Connor Nichols. Nichols will walk it up the court, give it to Amor Lopez. Rather, he'll walk it up the court. And we have a final on the CMU women. They fall in overtime tonight, 65-60 against CSU Pueblo. 2.18 to go here. 
Amor Lopez burning clock. Ten on the shot clock now. He'll go into the offense. Dribbles towards the pick and takes it off the left side. And he stuffs it home with a right hand. Ten-point Maverick lead. Back the other way. Quick three. Fired up. No good from Healy. And there's a rebound for Ryan Steffen. Mavericks trying to live to play another day. Amor Lopez, 30 points tonight for CMU. A minute 52 to go in the game. Lopez wags the ball back and forth between his right and left hand. Back near midcourt. Stefan comes out, sets the pick for him. A minute 39 to go. Pass to the near side. The ball almost stolen. Now to get it. C.J. Davis. He'll fire a three in the corner. No good. But there's Holly for the rebound and the stick back. And the Mavericks have scored 12 unanswered points in overtime. Holly now with seven. Back the other way. Going in for the layup. The finger roll is up and good for Kendrick Nichols. And we've got a timeout. Rather, Ron Lawton with that one. For the Mavericks. Against a full court press. They get it into Ryan Steffen. And the Mavericks will have to work this one up the hard way. Amor Lopez in the backcourt. Dribbles to his right, and there's a reach in. And that'll send Lopez to the free throw line. Amor Lopez having a huge game. Foul on Ron Lawton will be his third. Amor Lopez, 30 points tonight for the Mavericks at the free throw line. With a minute 12 to go to shoot one and one. Holly will come out. Off the bench comes Tanner Riley for the Mavericks. Number 35, Amor Lopez at the line. And Nate Holly with a big overtime period. Five points in this overtime session. Lopez now with 31. With that free throw. Second free throw is up and good. 32 point night for Amor Lopez. And the Mavs are up by 12. Coming back the other way. Quick drive off the right wing for Jonathan Mines. He lays it in with his right hand. C.J. Davis in the backcourt. Dribbles through traffic. Takes it to his left. Now to his right. Ball is loose. Davis picks it up. Gives it to Ryan Steffen. Steffen's pass to the top is tipped. And the Mavericks get it in the backcourt. Now we have a whistle and a foul. And Kendrick Nichols not happy with the call. And he's going to get teed up. Nope, he's not. Lawton is. And that'll pretty much salt this one away. So the foul is called on Kendrick Nichols and a technical on Ron Lawton. And Ron Lawton giving a Bronx cheer coming out towards midcourt. Better be careful. And that'll be the fifth on him after picking up the technical. Number 23, Ryan Steffen at the line. And Ryan Steffen will go to the free throw line to shoot the free throw. That one's good. This is the technicals he's shooting. That one is up and good. 17 points for him tonight. Make it 18 with that one. And now we'll come in. It'll be a two-shot foul. Amor Lopez, I think, is going to be our shooter. I think. The officials... Trying to sort this out. 89-77. Mavericks lead it. Amor Lopez coming in now. Amor Lopez has a huge night tonight for the Mavericks. Jonathan Mines don't underscore his efforts tonight. 27 points for the Cowboys of New Mexico Highlands. 51 seconds to go. 89-77. The Mavericks have owned this overtime session. Amor Lopez hits that one. And Lawton comes out. He, with the technical, has four fouls. 33 points tonight for Amor Lopez. 34 now. A career high as a Maverick. 50 seconds to go in the game, and the Mavericks are going to advance to the second round of the Armac shootout. Three-pointer is no good. Marlon Johnson comes in and hammers down on the arm. Frustration that time. C.J. Davis got the rebound. Marlon Johnson comes in and he's going to be called for an intentional foul. That'll be his fifth. And this is starting to get a little bit sloppy. 
Cowboy foul number 11, Marlon Johnson, his fifth and final personal foul. Marlon Johnson. I don't know quite what Craig Snow is so upset about. He is very upset with something that happened on that end of the court. Number three, C.J. Davis at the line. And he is letting the officials know about it. And so C.J. Davis will go down and shoot the intentional foul. And the Mavs will maintain possession. 91-77, the Mavericks lead it. They trailed a large portion of the second half. C.J. Davis hits that free throw. 11 points for C.J. tonight. The sophomore from Scottsdale, Arizona. Second free throw is good. 93-77 to is our score. And this was a physical game from the very beginning. And now you've seen a couple of frustration moments. So the Mavericks will inbound. They've got to go against a full court press. C.J. Davis dribbling up the far side. Gives it off to Ryan Steffen, who's playing in his final game here as a Maverick at Brownson Arena. We'll get at least one more effort on Friday night. Number two all-time leading scorer in Mav history. C.J. Davis accelerates in, lays the bucket in with his left hand, and the Mavericks have owned overtime. 95-77 to score, 12 seconds remaining. On the far side, Kendrick Nichols will just dribble this one out. C.J. Davis points to the student section, and this one is going to come to a close.